Welcome to the chemistry class. Today we are going to learn isomerism in aldehydes and ketones. Under the topic aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. So, in the isomerism of the aldehydes and ketones, we have four types of isomerism. Chain isomerism, position isomerism, functional isomerism and metamerism. In the chain isomerism, higher aldehydes where number of carbon atoms is 4 or more or the ketones having the carbon atoms 5 or more they show the chain isomerism in which the isomers differ in the chain of the carbon atoms okay in the position isomerism the higher ketones and the aromatic aldehydes exhibit position isomerism in which the isomers differ in the position of the carbonyl group. Okay. In the functional isomerism, the aliphatic aldehydes and ketones have the same molecular formula, but they differ in the functional groups. In the metamerism, ketones show metamerism in which the isomers differ in the alkyl groups around the carbonyl group. We will understand more about the isomerism in the aldehydes and ketones with the examples. Let us start first the chain isomerism. In the chain isomerism, we have the difference in the chain of the carbon atoms for the higher aldehydes and ketones. For example, we have C4 H8 O. This is your chemical formula. And now we will see the isomers for the aldehydes and ketones for this chemical formula. We can have first the simple chain CH3, CH2, CH2, CHO. Okay. Next, we can have CH3, CH, CHO and here a substituent for the aldehydes. In the ketones, we can have CH3, C, double bond O. CH2, CH2, CH3 and CH3 carbonyl group CH, CH3 and CH3. So you can see here in the aldehydes we have two isomers in the ketones we have two isomers and overall we have four isomers for the structural formula C4H8O okay so what happened here we have a difference in the chain of the carbon atoms so these are the chain isomers okay so next we have the position isomerism in the position isomerism what happens here there we have the same chemical formula but the isomers differ in the position of the carbonyl group. So, first we can have an example here for the chemical formula C5H10O. So, we have simple chain here, but the position of the carbonyl group differs in the position isomerism okay and one more isomer is c3 ch2 carbonyl group ch2 ch3 okay so uh, this is your one two three four five we can start from here one two three four five so this is your pentane 2 ohm 
is pen 10, 3, 4. So, these both are the position isomers for the chemical formula C5H10O. Okay. This is for the aliphatic aldehydes in ketones. We will see in the aromatic. In the aromatic, we have a benzene ring with the aldehyde group here. In the, ben in the aromatic aldehydes and ketones, we have ortho, meta and para isomers where the substituent are placed at different positions. Okay. You can see here, we have the benzaldehyde and the position of the substituent methyl group differs in all the three. This is 1, 2, this is 1, 3 and this is 1, 4. So, these three are the position isomers for the aromatic aldehyde. And We have to see a very striking point here is that the aliphatic aldehydes, aliphatic aldehydes, they do not show the position isomerism. You know why? Because the aldehydic group CHO is always present at the end of the carbon chain. Okay. So, we have here the position isomerism for the ketones, aromatic ketones as well as the aldehydic ketones. So, here this is your aromatic aldehyde and we have learned the chain isomerism and the position isomerism for the um, aldehydes and ketones. Now, we will learn about the functional isomerism. So, in the functional isomerism, aliphatic aldehydes and ketones are the functional isomers of each other because they have the same molecular formula but they differ in the functional groups. In the aldehyde we have the functional group CHO. In the ketone we have the functional group like this. Fine. This is RCHO. This is your R1 or R2 or you can have the same R's here for the alkyl group. So, we can have the examples CH3, CH CHO, CH3, C double bond O, CH3. What are the names of these compounds? We have three carbon atoms. So, this is propanol. This is your propanone. Okay. So, here we have the functional isomers for the same structural formula. C3H5O. Okay. Next, we will do the metamerism. So, ketones show metamerism in which the isomers differ in the alkyl groups around the carbonyl group. That means this is your carbonyl group, and you have different uh, alkyl groups present here. Okay. For example, we can have C H three C O C H two C H two C H three and this is your pentane two O and another isomer for this is three C H two C O to CH3. This is your pentane 3O. Okay. So, today we have learned about the isomerism in the aldehydes and ketones. To learn more about the aldehyde and ketone topics and more chemistry topics, just visit, like, share, and subscribe chemistry class. Thank you.